11.6% and the major problem for the low income. I have all the details and exactly what you need to know right here in the video. Let's get right into it. I right, know in this video, I do want to share with you the details of a new report that was released specifically focused on the low income and this major 11.6% problem that is currently going on right now, affecting tens of millions of low income and fixed income Americans. Now, this is a major problem and something I certainly want to bring to your attention because this is impacting the livelihoods of millions upon millions of people on a regular basis, and this must be changed relatively soon. That's what I want to bring it to you here in the video. Let's get into it and talk about all the details. Really fast before we do, thanks for joining me. If you have not done so yet, make sure to do yourself a huge, huge favor. Hit that subscribe button right down below the video as 2024 is all about you, the low income and fixed income. And of course, I'm here for you right by your side every single day, advocating on your behalf, doing all the research every single day so that you don't need to, watching the headlines and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can stay posted on what is actually going on and anything popping up you can possibly grab and or take advantage of, including, but not limited to, money, benefits, raises to benefits, checks, programs, stimulus, anything else like that. Of course, I'm going to bring it to you right here every single day in these short videos. Again, thanks for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And let's get into it and talk about 11.6%, 38 million low income and fixed income Americans. These are some major, major numbers right now and huge, huge problems they must fix relatively soon. Now, this is the most recent and up-to-date information that we have as of right now. And again, I like to bring this information to your attention so we can clearly see what's going on because I highly doubt your local news is talking about this. If they are, well then let me know, but I would highly doubt that they are because this is something that's going on right now. And again, we need to continue watching this because the bad policies in uh, Congress and that they continue to come up with are basically exacerbating this problem. In other words, not fixing it and making it even worse, okay? All right, let me talk you through the details about these numbers here and what you need to know about this. So. The recent census data has been released talking about how many people here in the United States are currently living in poverty. Well, based on what I've already said here in the video, you can probably already anticipate what I'm going to say, right? It comes down to this. 38 million people in the United States right now are living in poverty. That translates into 11.6% of our population. So think of it this way. Go walk down the street right now, well, today or whatever, okay? Just think of this, metaphorically speaking, okay? Or hypothetically speaking. Speaking. You go walk down the street today, you see 100 people, 11.6% of them are living in poverty. So 11.6 of those people that you see out of the 100 you see are, are living in poverty or at or below the federal poverty line. Now, obviously, there's no such thing as a 0.6 of a person, but <laughs> you get my point, right? Okay, so you <laughs> you get what I'm talking about. Think of it this way. So rather than talking about a, pers a person being a 0.6, think of it this way. If you see 1,000 people today, 116 of them are living in poverty. That is a huge percentage of our population. That is a lot of people out there. In total, 38 million people all across the country that they're accounting for. This is what they're telling us about. Now, let me ask you, do you think that they maybe, I don't know, manipulate these numbers a little bit? Do you think that these numbers are actually real? Or do you think that they're maybe on the conservative side, whereas the numbers are probably significantly higher than that? I would go ahead and probably anticipate the numbers are probably significantly higher than what we're actually hearing as of right now. But again, that's just my anticipation based on what we see with all the other numbers that are released all, all the time, you know, on a regular basis. We always know that these numbers are generally not all that accurate, right? That's a lot of people though. Now get this. They've also anticipated out of those 38 million people living in poverty, over 10 million of them are seniors, 65 and older. It's a lot of people, right? Now, I remember this much as well. I always like to say this just to br uh, bring this into the attention so we can all remember this. Remember a few years ago, this was probably, I'm gonna say probably three years ago now, okay? The president came out and said, no older adults or people with disabilities should ever need to live in poverty in America. Hmm. Well, looks to me like a huge percentage of the people that are currently living in poverty are exactly that older adults, people with disabilities, things like this, fixed income beneficiaries. Do you see a problem with this? Yeah, exactly, right? Now, here's another thing as well. Here's what's interesting about it. Uh, for 2023, the federal poverty line was $14,580, okay? Now, that is for an individual. Now, get this, a family of four. Guess how much the federal poverty line is for a family of four? Now, you'd think just multiply 14,580 times four, right? That'd be the federal poverty line. 
No, that is not true. In fact, the federal poverty line for a family of four uh, in 2023 is just under $30,000. Crazy, right? So just imagine that. That's what it is for a family of four. So basically what it is for an individual, again, 14580 you don't just keep multiplying that by the number of people in the household to determine the federal poverty line. No, the more people that come in, uh, into the household, basically the smaller and smaller the federal poverty line gets on a percentage per person, if that kind of makes sense, right? So it's kind of weird how they calculate all this. Now get this as well. For 2023, the report also came out and showed that the uh, that the median household income in 2023, do you want to take a guess what it is? I'm going to be honest with you. It was way higher than I thought it was going to be, okay? When I saw this number, I thought, there's no way. I don't know about that. But this is what they're telling us, the median, okay? Which also, let me clarify really quickly. They're talking about the median household income in 2023, not the average. There's a big difference between average and median. Let me tell you really quickly. Average is taking all the income from every household across the entire country, adding it all up and dividing it by the number of households. That is how you find an average. Median is finding the middle number. So think of it this way. You're driving down the highway, right? So it's like a four lane highway. You got two lanes going east and you got two lanes going west. Down the middle of the highway, you have a big cement barrier. That's called the median, right? Obviously, we know that, right? Or it's a cement barrier or it's a big ditch, right? <laughs> pick your, pick whatever you want, a cement wall or a big deep ditch, whatever it is, you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about, right? My point is that is the middle, right? The median. So the way they determine the median is taking all of the household incomes, laying them all out basically like on a line graph and then picking the exact middle number. That is the median, okay? Anyway, just wanted to clarify that really quickly. So here's what they said. The median household income across the entire country in 2023 was a little over $98,000, just under a hundred grand. I don't know, to me that seems very high considering the last few years here, the median household income has been right around $70,000 and now they're sitting at $98,000? I don't know, it seems kind of weird, but maybe that $70,000 or just shy of that actually, Maybe that is the average and this one is the median. So again, those numbers are very, very different. So do you see a major problem with this? Now, what would it really take for this to change, right? Remember, lawmakers, do they want people living in poverty? Well, depends who you ask. In some instances, they say, no, we don't want anybody living in poverty. But yet their policies, what they're doing, would tell us otherwise, right? We could all probably come back and argue and say, I don't know about that. They say that they don't want people living in poverty, but yet we look at their actions, we look at their inaction, we look at what they're doing as far as passing bills, legislation, and things like this, and they're doing nothing, right? So maybe their actions speak louder than their words. Hmm, haven't heard that saying before, right? <laughs> I think we've all heard that saying before, right? We all know exactly what this means. My point is, this is very important to understand because this is a real number. 38 plus million people currently living in poverty in the United States, 11.6% of our population uh, in regards to the most recent census data. Now, I'm gonna be real with you. This census data is not totally on, uh, on, on cue right now as it is not current as of right now today. If we were to bring it up to right now today, well, this number would probably be significantly higher, okay? So this, this data is months delayed, okay? But this is the most recent data that we have interesting. So this is what I want to bring to your attention. Now, let me talk really quickly. What would it really take to lift millions of people out of poverty? I can tell you this much, giving individuals, uh, as in fixed income beneficiaries, a $200 per month raise to the benefit would immediately lift millions of people out of poverty who live on fixed income benefits like social security and those benefits that we talk about so much here on the channel. Next, I know a very fast and easy way to lift uh, 8 million people out of poverty instantly. How? Waving my magic wand? Well, no, I don't have a magic wand. I, I wish I did. That'd be awesome. I'd wave it around and send some money your way. <laughs> That'd be super cool, but I don't, okay? But here's how you can do it. SSI, Supplemental Security Income. There's about 8 million people currently living in SSI, okay? Benefits, 943 a month for 2024, right? Is that above or below the federal poverty line? well below the federal poverty line by well over $300 a month. Okay, so we have the SSI Restoration Act, okay? It's a piece of legislation that's out there. If they were to enact this or at least one provision out of this, which would be raising benefits up to the federal poverty line, which is a little bit under $1,300 a month for 2024, 
simply enacting this one simple change here would instantly lift 8 million people living on SSI out of poverty. Boom. One little change there, I just lifted 8 million people out of poverty. Another little change, implementing a $200 raise, again, would lift millions of people out of poverty who receive fixed income benefits. So just those two simple ideas that we talked about right there that took me, I don't know, what did that take? Two minutes to describe that would lift probably 20 million people out of poverty. I don't know the exact number. I'm just saying probably roughly 20 million people across the board, probably even more realistically. It's a lot of people, right? Now, again, what would that do as far as the number of people living in poverty? It'd probably take that number from 38 million that we're currently sitting at today to probably down around 18 million or so, give or take a little bit. I'm just kind of roughly throwing some numbers out, but I'm saying it would dramatically, dramatically lower the number of people living in poverty instantly. I don't know. Does it seem a little bit appealing? What do you say, Matt for president? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not doing that. Although sometimes I have thought about it because this is nuts, right? Which by the way, I've had some support from some of you here in the community reaching out, you should run for president or office or something like that. I don't know if I could handle that. Um, <laughs> it'd be chaos. <laughs> uh, it'd be it'd be fun, let's just say that much, but um, it'd be a little bit chaos because I would not put up with the things that are going on right now. I mean, all the games and stuff that's going on, it's nuts that's happening out there in Congress right now. I would not be a fan of that. I'd throw the hammer down, <laughs> just saying, okay? But anyway, I wanna bring this to your attention really quickly so you can see what's going on here. And again, I like to bring this information to your attention so you can see what is actually happening across the country, how this is impacting millions of people and the simple changes that could be implemented to really change the lives of millions of people and ultimately make our country look a lot better than what we currently look like right now. Because honestly, they continue to say that we're the most affluent country in the world, as in the richest country in the world. Really? If that's the case, then why do we have $34 trillion in debt and almost 40 million people living in poverty? I don't know. Doesn't seem right to me, right? So I hope this one helps you again. I'm here for you in any way that it possibly can be. Please make sure to subscribe down below. Totally free to do so. Share the video with your friends from your social media. Again, a share button right down below. Totally free to do so. Hit that like button down below or the thumbs up button. Again, totally free to do so. And go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel, including those that I have linked down below in the description. Again, 100% free to do so. We love free, right? Free is my favorite word. Anyway, <laughs> enjoy your day. Thanks for joining me. I truly do appreciate it. Have a good one and catch you again later. It's